Hello everyone, we have everyone's favorite calculator, the TI-36. Well, I like it better than the TI-30 anyhow. Yes, I'm prejudiced. Anyhow, getting into this, what we're going to do is talk about how to find the equation of line using this calculator. Okay? So, what you do to get these data points in here is you're going to turn it on. There's a data button. You can press data. And what you get when you hit data is there's a list for L1. And there's a list for L2. It's a little hard to see them. If I pick the calculator up and put it up, it's easier to see them there. i got to get those numbers out. Now, I haven't been able to figure out a better way than just pressing delete a bunch of times. So let's hope you don't type a lot of points in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put X in L1 and Y in L2. So I'm going to have 5 and 4 in L1 and 7 and 2 in L2. So over here in L1, I'm going to put 5, enter, 4, enter. Over here in L2, I'm going to put 7, enter, 2, enter. Okay? So now i got those typed in calculator. I'm going to pick it up so everyone can see it. I'm pretty sure you all can see it down here. What I could do to improve things is only focus on this part of the calculator. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I don't, I don't want you, everyone to miss too many of the key button pushes. Though. All right. Now to get the equation of the line from here. Well, let's recap. We just pressed the data button. That's all we've done so far. And X and L1, Y and L2. Next, what I'm going to do is hit second data. Okay, second data. And I'm going to scroll down. What I want is number four for Linrag. Okay. Now, the defaults for Linleg should work okay on this. And let's press enter on number four. It's going to say data in L1, X data L1, Y data in L2, frequency one. Leave that on one. There's really no reason to change that here. In regression equation, store it in f of x. Okay, I didn't know the calculator has a function list. Let's go ahead and tell that yes and see if we can figure out what that is in a minute. And I want to calculate that. Okay, so it tells me A equals 5, B equals negative 18. So the equation in my line, and we'll talk about what R and R squared is in a future video. That doesn't matter for this video. So the equation line is Y equals 5X minus 18. That's real nice and easy to do. Okay, now let me see if I can figure out where it put this. I'm going to hit second recall. No, there's no functions there. Oh, but it does keep the A and B here. So if I know the value of A and B later, I can do it. Okay? But that's not what I wanted. Let me see if I can find an F of X somewhere. I didn't know it did that, or I would have done this beforehand. What if I do number solve? Let's hit number solve. Nope, doesn't put it there. Interesting. I know this thing won't graph. So I don't know why it's actually solving that for anything. Let me hit second this just in case. Nope. So I don't know why it solved it. I can't find where it would have solved it to. Uh, uh, if I find where it solves to, I'll make an update to the video. Just get rid of it and redo it. But I don't see anywhere on here where it would necessarily solve the save the equation. Okay. Oh, I bet I know. Expression evaluate. I bet it solved it there. Nope. Let's just push the table. Function table. I found it. So let's press enter on the. Uh, no. Well, it's probably under the function table. Let's hit clear. Function table. Edit function. It kept the function, so press enter. So start. We can say start at one. Step one. Auto X. Let's calculate. And what that's going to do is evaluate our line at different x points. So I found what it's doing. It's setting it up in the function table. It stores it there and sets it up in the function table. So I can find the value of x for lots and lots of different things. I knew the calculator had a function table in it, but I didn't know I could store Linreg in the function. So that's nice to know. I'll have to do a little bit better video of that later. So let's go ahead and do this one next. So we're going to press data. Okay, again, we're pressing data. And in L1, we're going to put the X's. In L2, we're going to put the Y. So L1's going to be 1 and 5. We're going to put 6 and 6 in L2. And again, I don't know how to 
clean, clear them, other than press and delete. You can overwrite them. So next problem, I'm going to overwrite them. Write them. I'm going to put one and five over here. I'm going to put six and six. Then I'm going to press second data. Again, second data. We're going to go down to number four for Linrag. Okay. This time I'm not going to store the regression equation. I'm going to leave it on no. Because I'm not going to use the table. I'm going to hit calculate. Now it says divide by zero. Okay. Mm, that shouldn't have done that. Maybe I did something backwards. Let me hit my data button. Let's hit clear. Hit data. Data. So one and five, six and six. I didn't do that backwards. And I just saw something again. Ooh. Didn't know it would do that. If you hit data twice, you can clear the list. And I see a formula over here. Oh boy, I should never have found that. But anyhow, interesting. Just learned something new. So let me hit second data again. Let's go down to number four. Let's see if something funny is going on. My uh, X data should be L1. My Y data should be L2. I shouldn't be getting divide by zero on this. But I am. Shouldn't be getting divided by zero because slope is changing y over change x. My y's are zero. My slope comes out zero. What this is, is this is a horizontal line. And it should just be y equals six. The slope would equal zero. Because if I'm doing slope properly, it's six minus six over one minus five, which gives me zero over negative four. So I shouldn't get this error which is interesting. Now I'm doing this for the first time on this calculator on screen. I didn't practice beforehand. So I'm really weird by that. Let's go on to the next one. But I did learn a few things, how to clear the list real quickly. Let's go on to the next one, all right? So now I'm gonna do this here. So let's try that. Press data twice, hit clear L1. Press data twice. Clear L2. Yep, that clears them. That's a cool way to clear them. Good to know. So in L1, we're going to put the X's. In L2, we're going to put the Y's. So this is 6 and 2, 1 and 2. So over here, I'm going to put 6, enter, 2, enter. Over here, I'm going to put 1, enter, 2, enter. Then I'm going to put second data. We're going down to number 4 for Linrite. You can actually press number 4. Everything should be fine. I'm going to hit calculate. This time I get A equals negative 0.25 and B equals 2.5. This calculator has a nasty habit of putting everything in fractions and it didn't here. If I push the button for fractions, it's not going to do anything. Okay? So what you're going to have to do to get that to fractions is hit clear, type in your negative 0.25 and then hit that fraction button. Okay? So you can manually do it. There's another way to do it. You can hit recall here. We've already gone through this. Second recall. Go down to A. And then hit the fraction button and enter. So there's two ways to do that. And my final answer comes out to Y equals negative 0.25X plus 2.5. All right. One more. Okay. So I'm going to press the data button. I'm just going to overwrite these this time. So when I do this one, L1 should be 3 and 3. L2 should be 7 and 10. So I'm going to type 3, enter, 3, enter. And you can just over type, write the numbers. 7, enter, 10, enter. Okay. Then I'm going to push second data over to, I mean, down to number 4 for Linray. Straight to calculate. I expected this this time because this is a vertical line. Notice the x values are the same. Vertical lines occur when you have the same x value in the two points. Equation should have been x equals 3 and the slope is undefined. Did not expect that with a horizontal line, which is weird. Let me try a different problem. So we're going to hit clear. Data. Okay. We'll do another horizontal line. I'm going to put 2 enter, 3 enter. Over here, my y coordinate should be the same. Let's put 5, enter, 5, enter. It should give me another horizontal line. Second data, down to number 4. Go straight to calculate. 
Yeah, it can't do horizontal lines. That's kind of a shame because I like this calculator. It does some really surprising things at times, okay? But it has some weird quirks to it too, and this is just one of those. It should be able to do horizontal line. I know your good old TI-84, it can do horizontal lines and doesn't give the divide by zero error, okay? So there you go. Just a quick rundown on how to find the equation line with the TI-36. That should help with some math classes here and there. There's a, more to the equation line than we just did, but I'm just trying to do a basic equation of a line at this point. Okay? Hope you all enjoy and hope you find that useful.